Hi, I'm Zane Warson, Wildlife Guru, here crouching right next to the largest snake I've ever seen in my life, a fully grown, most likely northern Pacific rattlesnake. And these are snakes are one of the most venomous snakes found in California. California, images of pristine beaches and rugged scenery may come to mind. But California has an extensive backcountry home to a plethora of unique and interesting creatures. Today, I'm exploring Shell Ridge Open Space Preserve alongside my friend Josh, a local reptile enthusiast. We'll be searching for the various reptile and amphibian species that call this preserve home. Although much of Shell Ridge is composed of dry grasslands, there's also a few ponds, oases for the inhabitants of the preserve, especially during the summer months. Though much of the pond dries up in summer, there is still enough water to support a population of California toads. These toads breed in spring, and their young hatch in early summer. One small pond may be home to hundreds of baby toads. California toads are poisonous and use this as a defense from predators. When attacked, they release poison from glands behind their eyes. Despite this strong defense, the toads still have predators, such as this northern Pacific rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes are some of the most venomous animals in California. Their venom contains hemotoxins, which destroy blood cells, myotoxins, which attack the muscles, as well as neurotoxins, which attack the nervous system and may cause temporary or permanent nerve damage. Despite this, their venom is not lethal if promptly treated. Contrary to popular belief, rattlesnakes are not aggressive and do not want to bite humans. They possess venom in order to kill their prey, which is small mammals, and as a defense. As long as you don't get too close, a rattlesnake will not bite and will leave you alone. And when a rattlesnake is feeling threatened, they will curl up into a strike position and shake their rattle, which is made of keratin, as a warning to potential predators. Unfortunately, many people kill rattlesnakes when they find them in residential areas or hear their rattles. Because we've killed the ones that do rattle, some rattlesnakes are evolving to lose their rattles. This is an issue to both the snakes and humans that live in proximity to them. More and more rattlesnakes do not have their rattle as a means of protection, and humans will have a much harder time identifying them as dangerous without their iconic rattle. Rattlesnakes are ovoviviparous, which means that unlike birds and many other snakes, their eggs are incubated and hatched inside the mother, and she gives a live birth. The mother then leaves, leaving her young to fend for themselves. Baby rattlesnakes are born venomous and are just as dangerous as their parents, though the ability to rattle does take time to develop. Rattlesnakes are members of the pit viper family, and, like other pit vipers, they possess heat-sensing pits on both sides of the head in order to catch their prey, which are, for the most part, warm-blooded. These pits allow rattlesnakes to sense infrared thermal radiation. In essence, it gives them the ability to see heat waves. Considering that rattlesnakes are some of the most venomous snakes in California, one might think that they have no natural predators. But despite their venomous bite, they are actually preyed upon by California king snakes. King snakes are non-venomous and pose no danger to humans, but eat many other species of snake, including rattlesnakes, giving them the name king snake. Hi, I'm Josh, a California wildlife enthusiast, and I am holding a California king snake. As you can see, the uh, king snake's tongue is flicking in and out. Um, that is, it's tasting the air. Um, it actually has a Jacobson's organ right on the roof of its head, but inside of its mouth, um, that it uses its tongue to flick out, collect air particles, um, which tells it about its surroundings when it then connects with its Jacobson's organ um, inside of its mouth. And um, this is how they find their prey, this is how it knows we're around it, um, since snakes actually use heat vision to, um, to see and to find prey as well. Um, combined with the Jacobson's organ, it's like it's their sixth sense. Um, you can also see it looks like she's pretty shiny. Um, she is not, in fact, slimy. That is a myth for snakes. Snakes are not slimy. They're actually quite smooth and dry. Um, rattlesnakes especially um, are quite bumpy, but king snakes, like this one, um, are quite smooth. Um, especially on her underside, if you see when I flip her around. These are actually her scoots that she uses to uh, 
move along the ground. They're much larger than the scales on top of her body. Body. They're also much uh, smoother, and uh, it's a way of movement almost for her. Just rolling around me. <laughs> Generally, predators prey on animals smaller than them, however, the king snake breaks this rule and feeds on snakes up to 20% larger than them. But how is this possible? The answer is in the king snake's constriction strength. Scientists studying king snakes have found that king snakes are pound for pound the strongest constrictors in the world. This incredible feat enables them to prey on snakes even larger than they are. King snakes are also immune to the venom of all venomous snakes that live alongside them, including cottonmouths, copperheads, and, of course, rattlesnakes. Their amazing constriction strength, along with their immunity to pit viper venom, enables king snakes to prey on any and all snakes they encounter, venomous or not, along with lizards, turtle eggs, amphibians, and small mammals. California's backcountry is home to a variety of unique and interesting animals from the poisonous baby toads, to the misunderstood rattlesnakes, to the fearless king snakes. If we continue to respect and learn about these amazing creatures instead of fearing them, they can continue to live and prosper in the grasslands of California for years to come.